Hello everyone, this is Oshani Dashgupta from Chinta. Today, we will work on a geometry problem that requires something that I call magical construction. If you are following this particular YouTube channel, you know that I love geometry. And there are some geometry problems which sort of open themselves up when you do one beautiful construction. Simple, elegant and beautiful construction. So this is an example of such a problem. It's not that hard. Uh, it's It came up in CMI entrance uh, 2022. But it can also come up in other Olympiads, American mathematics competition and so on. So in this video, we will learn how to do that magical construction that can be also useful in other problems. It's a very interesting strategy. Let me tell you a little bit about the problem. It says that we have a triangle like this and a transversal line like this, which hits YQ extended at Z. And there is a point W here with this uh, particular property. And what this property is, you have WZ, WZ over XY. So, WZ over XY, the red divided by red, is equal to QZ, QZ by YQ, QZ by YQ, so this green by green, and that's equal to WP by XP, WP by XP. So these segments are all in different places. When you see this sort of a situation, when this line segments are all sort of scattered around, the magical construction strategy may work. Of course, you have to have some experience with the process. Okay. Now, it says that all of these ratios are equal to some number k. And our goal is to show that xp is equal to xr xp and xr are equal. So you can pause the video here or watch on if you want to see this construction and then you can pause and try some more. Okay. So what I will do is when I saw that these pieces like wz is here, xy is here, I immediately know that I have to use some sort of a construction. This is from experience. I used to have to use some sort of a construction and maybe I have to use a combination of these ratios. So that's exactly what I tried. I used addendo in these two ratios. So when I use addendo, what I have is, uh, this is, each of them is equal to WZ plus QZ. Actually, I am using addendo not on these two, but on these two. So it's given that WZ plus XY is equal to WP by XP and that's equal to K. So if I use addendo, I have WZ plus WP divided by XY plus XP. WZ plus WP, the reason I'm doing it is because I am getting this entire segment PZ on the top if I add these two. So, this is PZ and the denominator is XY plus XP, is XY plus XP. Okay, so now we will do something called the butterfly move. The butterfly move is this, this is sort of the wing of the butterfly. And since these are, these two things are added up in the denominator, I will sort of open this up like this. It's just in my mind, of course. I will open this up like this and make it into one straight line, this particular piece. So that's exactly what I'll do. That's the construction, the magical construction. I will extend it to y prime such that xy and xy prime are equal. In my mind, I did the butterfly move. I sort of opened it up so that the denominator becomes one piece of straight line. 
and then of course I will join y prime and y. Okay, so now this ratio becomes p z by p y prime, and remember that all of this is equal to q z by y q, q z by q y. Okay, now this looks really good. Q z by Q y, that's this one, is equal to P z by P y prime. You immediately know that these two are parallel lines. Look at this one more time. Q z by Q y is equal to P z by P y prime. So, of course, since these two lines split the segments in the same ratio, Therefore, they are parallel to each other, which basically means that this angle is equal to this one and this angle is equal to this one. But these two angles are equal because xy prime and xy are equal. That's how we constructed it. That was the construction. So these two angles must be equal. Therefore, these two angles are equal and we have xp is equals to xr. It's quite fantastic, isn't it? So, um, if you have any other type of solution for, for this particular problem, please do share it in the comment section. I have also added the link to the entire CMI Entrance 2022 paper. We are also collecting problems from the students. Their students are actually telling us from their memory. It's just for fun. We want to discuss the problems with all of uh, all of the students and other kids who are interested in this sort of mathematical olympiad problems and so on and finally let me uh, let me conclude by saying that uh, some open seminars are coming up go to chinta.com to check them out they can be really useful for kids like you and parents if you are watching and uh, a new module for the isi and cmi entrance is also starting up so if you want you can join chinta and attend those classes Thank you for uh, seeing this video today. I'll come back to you with more videos soon. Thank you.